<laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. After missing weight by 10 pounds, and then they told me he would never fight at 185 again if I took the fight. I mean 170 again if I took the fight. So he lost to me, missed weight, still got the tough coaching job, and on top of that, he was going to get a title shot had he beaten me. But why do you, so you, again, it comes to this chip on your shoulder thing. You feel like everybody's against you. No. You do a little. I don't. A I little. know you want me to, though. No, you do. This is what the, what you're saying. It's the things that you're saying. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I know I know the, I know the deck of cards I got, and I know how to play these deck of cards. But well, what do you think the deck of cards is? The deck of cards is it's going to come a moment where I'm a superstar. And when I get to that moment, I have more leverage. At this time, I'm not at the point where Conor McGregor's at. So I gotta, if I gotta fight the number one contender, and I can't vouch out to fight a George St. Pierre or Bisming or a Conor or a Nate at this moment, I'm gonna keep whipping ass until I get to that point. Well, after George is beaten right now, George is in an amazing position, right? Yeah. George beats Bisping. If he wanted to, and he dropped the title, but if yeah. he wanted to come back and fight you for uh, the welterweight title, that's a legitimate super fight right there. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. You think particularly George fight coming me? off of his big fight. I, you don't think he does? Look, you tell me. You think George want to fight Look me? Look at your face. <laughs> George, had the chance, me. George had the chance to fight me before Bisbee. He chose to fight Bisbee. Well, maybe he felt like that was a better fight for him to come back with. It was a definitely a better fight because if he would have came back against me looking like that, George would have been right back in retirement. He, he did not look great. Bisbee did not look great. Um, one thing that helped George in that fight, his experience. He loosened up. He was a little uptight. You know, he hadn't been in the octagon, what, four years almost? Uh, um, a little over two. Yeah, you know, a little no, over was, three, right? It was more than that, Was right? it four? It was almost four. It wasn't quite four. It was almost four. Because I fought November. I fought November. UFC, it was the 25th anniversary. No, I think you're right. I think it was like four Because I fought Koshek on the card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I fought yeah that's a long ass time. So he, for him to not fight that long, I don't care how much you train. You're asking in a fight, you don't have a training camp, focus on a person. It's tough. So when he came back, I saw the experience kick in. He relaxed a little bit. That's when he faked, landed a left hook. Mm -hmm. Had he not relaxed, I mean, you know, who right. knows what would have happened. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It was a. T it was interesting because Bisping was tight, and I expected Damn. I expected him to be looser. Big Bisping doesn't have the the. I mean, he's not guys out, but he's not a guy that you know you're thinking of like a Rumble or in Ghana right. or myself or somebody a one shot or guy. Stevens, uh, Jeremy Stevens, somebody right. that's going to touch you and it's over with. So with that said, he's a he's a person that's going to be volume. He's going to be in your face, great conditioning. He's very durable. And George had to make that adjustment. He said, all right, I'm going to be an athlete on this guy. Mm -hmm. Let me fake him out. Let me get him thinking about the shot. I took him down twice. Let me get him thinking about it. Level change, come up left hook. Very smart move. And that's something that the experience of being a champion, um, a lot of them do. Well, there was some talk about him fighting Connor, but I didn't hear any of that from the official people. Yeah. And him fighting Connor at 170 pounds would have been fascinating. It's in terms of like, it's a terrible matchup for Connor. Yeah. You know, in terms of like just physicality. But once again, risk and reward. What happens yeah. if you lose to the greatest welterweight of all time? Yeah. People gonna, people gonna torture him about it. Yeah, but Connor doesn't want to lose another fight right now. Like this is not a good time, especially in his division. There's so much talent. Like right now, you think, at you, think you want to see Habib right now? That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to see. You think he will? You think? What about you think, Tony? You th I mean, Tony's a. If if I was Connor, which I'm not, um, if I had to pick the fight, they're both are gonna be. I mean, Habib might be a bigger draw because he got a. Huge, huge, 140 some million people in Russia. Might be a bigger draw, but they both are very annoying fights. Very dangerous fights. Dangerous. Tony Ferguson, you know, it don't take much for him to find a way to get around your neck and choke you. He's he always get tired. He doesn't get tired. He looks like he's losing fights and he don't care. His striking is very awkward. Um, he can really do what Nate Diaz did to Connor. Yeah. And Nate Diaz, you know, baffled him like, damn, I hit you with everything. You still around. Then Connor went for the damn shot. The same thing's gonna happen if you do that to Tony. Tony's gonna submit him. Here's my um, prediction. My prediction: Connor doesn't fight for a while. He watched those two. They fight. strip him. They strip Connor. And he comes fight me. Habib and Tony fight for the world title. Oh, for you, you're in a situation. <laughs> I don't think either one of those guys are in the cars right now for you. But for you, who don't do you try see to mess up my dreams. Well, what's your dream? Tell you know me what, your dream to be is. honest, is um, you know my dream was to really I wanted to I wanted to fight yours and. That's I feel still like, possible. I feel like if I fought George, I can legitimately say I'm the best welterweight of all time if I beat him. It's still possible. George I mean, hasn't retired. Has he it, said anything about you? He asked one time on a like 
Fox Q&A where he was going to like, so Tyron, if you fought, what would be your game plan, you know, if you fought us? But they got X'd out because they didn't want to get all the fans pumped up that we were fighting. Why wouldn't they? Do you think they're plotting against you? See it? I see it in your face. Joe, <laughs> she is not going to do that to me. I am too bright, uh, mother. <laughs> You're not going to. You want me to be like uh, the people who no, are against me. Listen, I, I, want, I want you to just be focused. You want me to be real? I d yeah, sure. You want me to be real? Sure. Do I think that the people want to see me lose? No, I don't think they want to see me lose. Do I think that sometimes I'm a pain in the ass? Yeah, I am. But in business, at one point in any business, does not the person that's doing the business not want their best interests. So if I'm an athlete and I'm looking out for my best interests and I'm trying to put myself in a position where, you know, I can fight, become a legend, become a Hall of Famer. I should do that. If I want to be paid appropriately, I should do that. <laughs>